All right, I'm going to try to document this for you. Uh, just had another hive swarm, and it looks like they're going to be swarming to the same spot that the hive swarmed to yesterday. I don't know if you can see them, but they're starting to collect on that on that little log right there that I got laying up against the fence. So um, I'll come back in just a second as soon as they finish swarming and they get all over there and I'll have to collect this one up too. Alright. There's the swarm. They're still uh, flying around a little bit. They haven't all quite hit it. But uh, I'm going to give them a little bit of time and they'll get there. I just wanted to give y'all a real good up close look at the swarm. Looks like this log has turned out to be a good thing for me to put up against this fence and hold it until I get it fixed. So. Okay. Now what I've done is I've already moved the my uh, my hive box that I'm going to capture these in. Uh, I've got it sitting under it and I sprayed it down real good with some sugar water and you see some of the uh, bees on here. You see that one right there, he was kind of kicking his legs. Um, if you start seeing them with their tail up, like that one right there, that they're kind of singling to the rest of the bees that, you know, this is a good good place. So hopefully we can get these bees that just naturally want to drop on down into this box, make it a little bit easier on me. And, uh, that way I don't have to be, be too rough with them. So I'm just going to let this sit here for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are. Swarm capture number two. <laughs> so, alright. You got you got the fence right there? Mm -hmm. Alright, you ready? Yep. Here we go, nice and easy on them. Now what I got to try to do is I need to try to find that queen. Just because I don't find her doesn't mean she's not here. She might have dropped down, and she may not have. But regardless, eventually I'm going to get all these bees off of here. Now she could be over there where they're clustering up. But I'm going to get my brush, and I'm going to try to brush these off. Did I bring the brush? Nice. Underneath there. That was not a good place for my brush. Stop recording for a minute. 
All right, here we go. I've gotten most of the bees down here. You can still see some of them are coming back up here. Um, they're still ju they're just not quite sure, and uh, you know the queen might still be around over this this way is why they're still going to it or her scent's still there. Um, regardless, here's all the bees here. Got a lot of them out there on the on the edge of the wheelbarrow that haven't come to the hive yet, but they're they're staying around, so that's good. Um, haven't seen a queen yet, but like I said earlier, that doesn't mean she's not in there. So I'm gonna keep working this and uh, I'm gonna spray a little bit more. The sugar water not only is it to help try to keep them from from flying away, uh, it's also what I'm using to entice them um, that this is going to be their their new home and they they need to stay here. Um, normally, we'd use something like uh, peppermint uh, would be a good uh, good candy to use, but I don't have any, so I have to use what I got. So anyway, hope y'all have enjoyed this and. Uh, I'll let you know what happens after I get them back over in their new home location, which is going to be right over there.